In this video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily fix the perspective in your photos. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along, I've left a download link for both photos that I'll be using in the video description. To keep things simple, we're going to start with this photo of a building. This was taken down low, so that's affecting the angle of the building. And this can look nice for a picture, making the building look really tall, but sometimes you'll want this more straight on. So let's do that. First, make sure you have the layer selected, then press Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac to duplicate it. That way we'll be able to see the difference between the two layers later on. Then come on over here and select the perspective tool. Using the nodes that are now on the edges of the photo, we can pull them out to adjust the perspective. So I'll go ahead and pull out the parts of the picture that look tilted inward. And you can see that that straightens out that edge. Make sure snapping is turned on so you can pull this exactly straight on the top, otherwise you might be pulling at an angle like this. And to really help you to make sure these lines are straight up and down, you can also go to the top of the screen to view, and then you can turn on show grid. So now we have these perfectly straight lines that we can follow. So I think I'll bring mine back just a little bit to make it perfectly straight. I'll do the same for this other side, pulling it outward to make it nice and straight. But this is sort of like playing tug of war. You can see now this isn't straight. I need to pull this out a little bit more and I'll even out this side as well until they both look pretty straight. All right, I'll just press apply. And now you can see the before and after. I will say that looking at the difference between these two, the building looks a little bit shorter and more squished. So let's go ahead and fix that before we finish with this one. I'll select the perspective tool again. And this time I'm just going to pull these corners upward. I'll pull this other one upward until it snaps into place so they're perfectly even with each other. We're losing a little bit of the sky, so maybe I'll bring this down just a little bit more. But now you can see we've stretched out the building. I'll press apply. I'll also turn off show grid, just so that's not distracting us. And now you can see the before and after. All right, so that was super easy. Let's do one more example of when you'd want to use this. So I see this problem a lot in real estate photography and these strange angles of the walls can be a little distracting. No one wants to buy a house with crooked walls, <laughs> so let's fix this one. I'll do the first step of duplicating our layer. Then I'll select the perspective tool. This time, the walls are being tilted up this way. So this is the part that's being tilted inward. So I'll pull this part outward to straighten this. And again, if you'd like, you could pull up the grid to help you. just to make sure the walls are nice and straight. And for this one, I'm kind of going off of this window and I think that looks pretty straight. All right, I'll press apply. And now you can see the before and after. Again, this room looks a little bit squished, so I'll select the perspective tool again. And for this one, we can pull it up a little bit. And we can pull it down a little bit. Then we can press apply. I wanted to stretch it from the top and the bottom, just so we don't lose the ceiling completely by pulling that up too far. And to finish, I'll just turn off the grid. And now you can see the before and after the walls are straight. I'd much rather buy this house. <laughs> and there you have it. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.